Okay, so in this part of the tutorial, we are going to have a brief overview of the template that I'm going to be using throughout the series. Um, it's a very basic uh, design. You can see it in front of you at the moment. Um, what we're going to be doing is in another part, of the in the next part of this, this, this tutorial, we're going to be cutting this up. Um, so in this video, we're going to be reviewing the markup. We're not going to look too much at styles or anything like that, but try to understand the markup and the, and the styling if you don't already understand uh, the front end side of development. Um, but we'll be reviewing the uh, markup, so feel free to skip this if you, you're already um, uh, accustomed to HTML, CSS, uh, things like that. Um, and um, yeah, so uh, essentially this is what we're going to be building our site on. Uh, the reason I've chosen such a basic template or created such a basic template is just because of how everything's laid out. We've got the menu at the top here, including a logo, which is just text at the moment. Uh, we've got a header for whichever page we're on. At the moment, we're on template.php, which just houses the, the markup and the styles. There's no back-end uh, code. And we've got a content area here, which is going to be things like the registration form, any error pages, or you know anything like that. Now we've got a widget sidebar as well, which you can see separated by this dotted line. Um, and this is going to house the login um, form, so the username and password that the user is going to be able to type in. Um, it's also going to house things like um, you know, how many users are currently active on the site or how many users are currently logged in. Just just things like that. So um, you know, we can we can duplicate this if we want. So let's jump right over to the markup and have a look at uh, everything uh, in here. Okay, so we, I'm using uh, HTML5 semantics, so I'm using an HTML5 doc type. Don't worry too much about this, it doesn't make a difference. I'm just using this for the semantic elements. Uh, it's just a lot easier to describe. Um, I'm attaching or, or linking in a style sheet, which is screen.css, you can see here. Uh, it's not a long style sheet at all. Um, there's a few things in here that you know after you've downloaded this this template uh, which is available at the phpacademy.org forum um, you might just want to have a look through it so you know look at certain properties and and, and everything like that if, if you're not accustomed to CSS um, so yeah we've got the the sort of head area here that how you know we've got all of let me just line this up uh, we've got this head area which is essentially all of you know things like the metadata, the style sheets, the title, and this is going to be included in its own file. So we're going to break this away and, and store this in its own file, um, and it will look something like this eventually. Uh, I've just pulled this up as, in, as an example of what we're going to be doing in the next part. So you can see here we're just including uh, includes forward slash head dot php, which uh, essentially just replaces all of this and puts it in. Um, so then we've got our body, which comes all the way down to here. Uh, and inside of our body, we've got a header. So this is uh, this area that you can see up here, all of here. And uh, in here, we've got a, a, an H1 with a class of logo, and this is a specifically styled uh, block of text. We've also got a nav, again, another uh, an HTML5 element. Um, and we've got um, an unordered list with our menu items. And these are styled uh, just to show in a row, basically. So go and have a look at the styles with that as well. Now, one thing I haven't included on here is some kind of um, polyfill to allow uh, Internet Explorer, I believe, 7 and 8 to deal with the HTML5 uh, semantics. So you'll need to go and and, and, um, and uh, perhaps develop this in another browser until you feel comfortable enough that you can go and do that research on your own. But either way, um, yeah, that's just a quick note. Uh, I've got a div here, which is a, a rather unsemantic element. Uh, it's essentially clearing the floats from here. Uh, this is somewhat considered to be a bad way to do things because it's adding extra markup. But if you see this, it's basically clearing the floated um, elements here because we're floating each one of these left so they sit uh, next to each other. And this basically clears it. So if you go over to the styles, you can see we've got a class of clear somewhere. Let's just find it. Oh, there it is at the bottom. So clear, clear both. So it's clearing left and right floated elements. And that's the end of the header. Uh, we've then got a, a, a div with an ID of container. Um, and we've got an aside, and then we've got our main content here. This, of course, could be wrapped in a, in a, a div itself, a container itself, but I've just left it floating around. So aside is basically another HTML5 element. Um, we've got uh, a div within here with a class of widget 
within this class we've got a header and then an inner area so if I just go ahead and like copy and paste this down uh, and I go ahead and refresh you can see that that basically just duplicates that that you can see so we're going to be using say, the top one here for the, the login form uh, this one for how many users are, are registered with the site etc etc and these will all go in there in, in separate files which will include uh, perhaps based on a condition so if the user is is not logged in we might want to say include this particular widget that shows a login form or if the user is logged in we might want to show the uh, particular widget that greets the user and tells them that they can change their password uh, log out etc uh, and like I said before we've got this down here uh, which is just the, the header for the page uh, and then um, uh, some area so essentially all of this here goes in the header you can see the last thing we include is the aside and then from just after the, the content from here is included in the footer and that's all, all put in footer.php this here uh, obviously we have a footer I didn't explain that but it's fairly self-explanatory um, so essentially what we're going to end up with is a page looking like this let me just type it out in a, in a sort of mock form so we'll include um, let's just say template forward slash header.php it might not be called that when we do it uh, but it does demonstrate what we're going to be doing so what this is going to do is let me just tidy this up a bit what this is going to do is it's going to allow us to if we then want to go ahead and create another file we include the header we include the footer uh, and therefore we don't actually need to go in and duplicate the markup so if we need to make a change to the header somewhere we can go in and make a change to the header or the sidebar or the or some metadata add some metadata the same with the footer um, so we're making it a lot more flexible by including our header and our footer as sort of templates rather than duplicating pages so hopefully that makes sense uh, and in the next part of the tutorial we're going to actually be cutting this up and looking at the directory structure of our um, of our uh, of our login and registration system as well so we'll be able to cut everything up and make sure that we we start to work on a really good ground for building this up and and making it a lot easier for ourselves